the computer science department and we are having a voting system um, for PS students and then I would like to interview my brother who is in charge of the whole system so I'll call up on him and then ask him some questions and he will answer. Thank you very much. We learned you are, you, are the, you are the chief programmer of the whole system we are using here so I would like to interview on some questions and then give us the feedback. Okay. Um, first of all I would like you to interview the system how it works. Okay this is a simple electronic voting system. Actually we have designed it purposely for biometric uh, voting. But as of now, we don't have the finance to actually finance the biometric devices and stuff. So right now, as you can see, we use laptops in voting. It's an electronic voting for mostly tertiary institutions. And actually, this was developed on a .NET technology. We develop a web service, and then we have another interface that surfaces the web service and manages the voting. We have various sections of the software. We have the part for the voting, we have the administrative sections, the public view, the strong room, and then what we call check your votes. So basically that is everything about the electronic voting system that we have. Um, thank you, Mr. Evans. It seems people are complaining about the security system. So how, sh how secure are we? I want you to talk about the security system and the whole system. Uh, when we talk about security, uh, I can also say that we have a very good security uh, feature implemented in this system. In the fact that our system is going to be able to check double voting, it's able to check people who are not authorized to vote, it's able to check them, and then it has so many other features, like monitoring the polling stations, all the other computers to see over the uh, polling stations on their own. So our computer, our system is able to monitor the various who are polling stations, the activities that go on there, the last activity date, and whatever the person has done in the system. So in short, we have a very good security system laid out. I don't want to go too deep into the technical aspect of it, since this is just uh, this is, uh, an interview, a very public uh, view, but if we were to actually implement a system, we make it open for review, so you can call any developer from outside to review the system, see if it's a good system to be implemented, examine all the security features, and then approve its use. So for now, I think we have a very good security system implemented to manage the votes, just to make it very fair, free and, and fair. Thank you, Mr. Elvis. You can see the systems are working on a network. Yeah. Do you understand? And then a network, we know it uses a bandwidth. So what is the bandwidth rate at which we are operating on? Thank you very much. Yes, actually, what happened is most of these pages, we wrote scripts to catch them, just to manage the bandwidth and then the results that these systems use. So most of the time, we actually wrote uh, most of the applications and cache them. So what happens is the post back is not the whole page that does not go back to what to server side before coming. So actually that part as I mean said that we have minimized the user of the bandwidth. And secondly most of the interface was developed using uh, Ajax technology which enables us to use this asynchronous post back. So you see that we don't post the whole page back to server side before bringing it just that way the code and then the data is already changed. So I may say that we manage the bandwidth very well. You can see this is the server that we have used to manage this whole system. And since morning up to now, we had no problem with the network. Everything is on and everything is okay. So I think we don't have problem managing the Thank you very much. And then my next question is about the requirements to run a system. What are the requirements you need before you can run the system? Uh, we don't need any extraordinary requirements. Just a simple, get a computer, a working computer that can run a browser. That is all. If the browser runs on a computer, we don't have any problem. Our system is compatible with most of the browsers. Most of the browsers back from uh, Internet Explorer 6.0 up to this time. Most of the browsers are compatible with the system. So just get a system that can run a browser and you're on to go. Thank you, Mr. Elvis. Um, as people are viewing, they would like to know the charges involved when they want to come for it. So what, how do you charge, if I may ask? Thank you very much. Uh, for the charges, it depends on negotiation. After we negotiate, we actually handle from departmental level, West House level, and then to National Congress. That is what we do. So based on your category, and then the charges we apply. So for that, I think there's something one-on-one that we can go into. So lovely viewers, those who are interested, you can come for it, and the charges are free. So, um, Mr. Elvis, do you work with a team? Do you have a project that you work with? Yes, we have a very, very strong team. Actually, this is an idea from the Computer Science Department, uh, in fact, School of Applied Science and Technology. 
and thanks to the Dean of School of Applied Science and Technology, Mr. Xiao, and then HOD of Computer Science, Mr. Kweku Jamra, for their kind support and everything, and their, you know, efforts that they put into this system. Actually, this system was from the Computer Science Department of Kufuria Polytechnic. I am just a leader, but then we have so many groups, uh, so many people that contributed in, but actually developing this system. And I can mention people like you yourself, who has been very great to can call people like uh, Mr. Richard, who has been a TA in the department for the past two years. Then he has also contributed so much to this system. And other people that are not around, they are quite busy now. But at least you acknowledge them. Iran uh, and other people that other people that we can mention about. They are quite busy now. So that is actually basically how the system came about. I love the team that manages the system. Okay, thank you, Mr. Evans. And then, lovely viewers, um, as you can see, at the back stage, we have the voting system going on. So, I ask the cameraman to take a closer view so that you have a look at whatever is going on. Thank you very much. Thank you, lovely viewers. Okay, as you can I see, this is the. I don't know. This is the administrative part where um, you have to be authenticated before you are allowed to vote. Yeah, yeah. The administrator enters your, your, your valid ID number and then you are required to vote. So this is where the verification goes on. This is the verification. And so you verify here and then you vote. All this my Next, ID. Index number, 2023. The process of the whole thing. When the user comes, the person enters the valid student's ID and then it is activated. So you enter your student's ID. Yes, you enter your student's ID. Forward slash. And then you enter your ID. You start voting. This is an option where wait, this is an option where you'll be asked to vote yes or no. You understand? You have an option to escape if you want to escape. Yes, and then these are the aspirants. You vote for the one you want to vote for. When you click on the complaint, you click. You'll be asked whether you want to vote or not when you vote. Room and then these are the uh, polling agent members who are here to testify about what the counter. Protecting <laughs> whatever result that is going on here. When you look down here, we have the, the aspirants, the president, the vice president, the secretary. It follows down here. When you come there, you can see the body groups that are voted and then have escaped votes, which means these people do not vote for the person at all. And then it also shows the percentage that people are voting, as you can see over there. So after voting, we need not to watch, sit down and do any calculation again. So just take it up and then we'll do it. The moment they vote over there, the number increases automatically, as you can see over here. This, this is our sister here who wants to test, testify about the whole system. This is a polling agent, and I'd like her to talk about the system so far. How she has seen it. It's great. It's great. Um, our brother here, um, I'd like you to show your view on how you see the system. Okay, it's interesting, very good for us. So far, how will you rate it? 
Is there any Kululu? Is there any? There's no bias, there's no Kululu. Okay, it's thank, 100%. You very much. thank you very much. Department and their voting in collaboration with the uh, electronic voting. Now we are still here with uh, a student of our uh, first enterprise who came to uh, also use the system for the voting today. And he's the president of Bernard. He's also a sports presenter at the Poly Polyfair. And we want to ask you, Bernard, um, how do you see the system of the e-voting? How do you think it's going to? Do you think it's going to go far on campus with the electronic voting? Well, you know, uh, our personal friends, uh, uh, that is the best because uh, looking at it. department for the 2013-2014 academic year. Then, with the vice presidential election, we have Edmond Eliken Chotovo, Dulu Ezekiel, and Amponsa David Anna. At the 
line of the pool. The vice presidential candidate elected for the 2013 the secretary went on a vote on the Abrevi. At the end of the vote, she has met as the winner. So therefore, she is the candidate or the secretary elect for our department for 2013, 2014, and this year. Financial officer, we have George Etiama Bepe. And say one new. At the end of the vote, George Etiama Bepe was successfully elected as the financial officer for the 2013-2014 academic year. Women Commissioner, we have Jose A. Merrily and Nyako Mary. At the end of the poll, Jose A. Merrily was successfully elected as the Women Commissioner for 2013-2014.